Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really pumped to be doing another one of these videos. Basically, I've been doing these NRL rebuilds that you guys have really enjoyed. We've done the uh, Canberra Raiders. We've done the Melbourne Storm. I think we might have done the Manly Seagulls as well. We're getting into them. Uh, so this will be our fourth or fifth one now. Just trying to check. I know we've done the Raiders. I know we've done the Storm. Um, no, sorry, we haven't done Manly. So Storm and Canberra at the moment, and I'll try and get... Um, another one out later tonight as we are on the weekend. Great weekend of footy coming up. But uh, we saw a great team uh, put on the park, in my opinion, for the Canberra Raiders. So, obviously, with some of those big-name players gone, got all our options here set up. And for this video, guys, we do have – oh, they almost swapped around there. There we go, number nine. So, we do have the hooker for this video. Uh, before this video starts, make sure you guys go and check out Drom Clothing, both the website – and Drom Clothing Co. over on Instagram. They do sponsor the channel. They are a great sponsor with some great winter and summer clothes, getting propped for either season. It's tough for this lockdown, so go and support Drom Clothing. And uh, let's get into another great video, guys. So as requested, today we're going to be getting into the NRL rebuild for the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Um, so let's let's start with the fullback. Obviously, options here include uh, Latrell Mitchell might be a great cho choice. Uh, Reese Walsh might be another good choice. Just getting my list up here for you. Uh, even someone like Ponga. So uh, currently Nick Meany at fullback in talks with Addo Carr uh, because he took that offer of more money for fullback next year. So let's spin this and see who will be the long-term new fullback at the Canterbury-Bankstown Bulldogs for more of this rebuild. And they're going to get Ponga. They're going to get Ponga. That is a huge signing. So Caelan Ponga. Off to the Bulldogs on, let's say, a four-year deal. I think he's worth that four-year deal. So, Caelan Ponga off to his new team of Canterbury Bankstown as the first signing for the Bulldogs. Let's move on to their wing here. They've got plenty of options. I mentioned the speed of Alex Johnston, but I think the strength of, of Brian Toto would be something that I would be looking for. And out of these wingers, I'd probably take Brian Toto um, to sign with the doggies, but it's not up to me. It's up to the wheel. The wheel of wisdom says that the doggies winger first one is going to be or oh, so close to Toto. It's going to be Cody Ramsey. Obviously, he's uh, he's been in the NRL for what probably ah oh, I think Cody Ramsey's had about eighteen games under his belt now. I think he's had about sixteen this season and about two last season, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's getting. More experienced, and um, he's definitely a good young player. So the Bulldogs signed Rams in the wing. We'll come back to the wing, and we'll move into the centres and pick the number three. So Cody Ramsey and Caelan Ponga starting us off for the Bulldogs. Um, a strike centre here. Uh, someone like Olam would be good. Uh, even the experience of Jesse Ramian could bring a lot to a Canterbury side. And we're going to get Gagai, Dane Gagai, obviously in talks of being on the market. Um, currently not re-signed with South for the 2021 season. So we actually potentially could see this happen. I don't think we will. There's too many outside backs of mine for mine for the Bulldogs, but there's a chance. Moving on to the other wing spot. Uh, actually, no, sorry, the centre. We're going to pick another centre here. We're going to spin this, and we're going to go with, if it lands on um, Gag Eye, I'll just re-spin. We're going to go with Blake here, Wanga Blake off from the Parramatta Eels. To the Bulldogs on, say, a two-year deal. I think they would sign him on a two-year deal. So not a bad back line so far. We've got uh, Ramsey, Ponga, Gagai, and Wonga Blake. A little bit of experience with Gagai there. Let's pick our other winger who's going to move into number five. I did forget to add Josh Addo Carr here. I did late realise while I started filming this, so I do apologise for that. Uh, he will obviously be at the Bulldogs next year. So number five is going to be Kyle Felt. So Kyle Felt on the wing for the Bulldogs. Very good under a high ball. Um, very good finisher, Kyle Felt. We've seen some fantastic tries from him, not just this season, but throughout the years. So it's a nice signing there for Canterbury. Who's going to make up the halves, though? Here is their 5'8". We saw the um, the Canberra Raiders pick up both Moses and Dylan Brown. Um, so the Eels halves completely gone. Lots of options here. Uh, Corey Norman who currently uh, not being re-signed. Sean Johnson would be a fantastic signing. But Cody Walker, for me, is who I'd be taking for this Canterbury side to turn them around. 
uh, or even the aggression of Gamble. But I'd, I'd be going Cody Walker as my personal choice here. And they might just land him. Oh, they're going to miss out and they're going to get Norman. Corey Norman. How do you like that one, Bulldogs fans? Corey Norman. Let's write his name in that 5'8 position. He's off to the Bulldogs. I would probably say it would be a one-year deal to see how he goes and see if he's worth the money that is being offered. Partnering Norman in the halves, um, we've got Walker here. Sam Walker would be another great choice. Someone like DCE provide plenty of experience. Uh, or could the big man, Nathan Cleary, come out in this one? We'll have to wait and see. Reynolds, obviously off to the Broncos, another experienced half. We're going to spin it. Plenty of options here. And it's going to be Jerome Hughes. A really interesting halves combination there with Jerome Hughes and Corey Norman. The uh, New Zealand combination of Jerome Hughes there. Not a bad choice at all for the Canterbury Bulldogs as regards to their number seven. Moving into the props, the big boppers. Um, someone like Moe Fodawaka would be great for them here. Or even someone like Fisher Harris, just some big ball carries to get them downfield and get them involved in the game. Let's pick our first one. In jersey number eight is going to be... Fanua Blake, it was on the border there. Adam Fanua Blake uh, is a nice signing. I don't mind this Bulldogs team so far. There is a few issues with it, in my opinion, but I think they're building really nicely here um, in this current situation of the rebuild. Let's move on to their number nine. Now, this is the first time I've actually had a hooker list here, or many hookers as I could think of. Uh, the Braley brothers, probably Jaden would be someone you would definitely want in your team. Uh, even someone like Brandon Smith, very involved. I was going to put Harry Grant, but I left him out because he spent so much time uh, in Jersey 14 and in injury. So his day's coming, but Brandon is playing out of his skin at the moment. Brandon Smith obviously was in talks with the Bulldogs for a long time as well. So let's see if, if there's any uh, truth to that. And they're going to get Sam Berrells here. They're going to get Young Gun from the Sydney Roosters, Sam Berrells. Nice signing there, Sam Verrills in jersey number nine. Jersey number 10. So this will be another one of the big boppers. Uh, we've seen Junior Paul Logo. We've seen Fanua Blake. And Fanua Blake is going to be up front with, I really want to see James Fisher-Harris pick with this team. Fanua Blake again. We're going to re-spin that one. I think it would be a great choice. It's going to be Payne Haas. Payne Haas, the young gun from the Brisbane Broncos, off to the Bulldogs. Really nice signing here. And let's get into our last few positions here as we move into the Canterbury-Bankstown Bulldogs back row. So we're going to go into the back row here. And our back rowers include Papa Lee, uh, Ryan Madison, David Fafita, uh, Tavita Pangai Jr., I probably should add more choices in here, Angus Crichton, the more I think about it. But these videos, um, I kind of add them as I go. So let's get into these eight options. And the back row in jersey number 11 is going to be Josh Kerr. I expected a massive night from Josh Kerr last night. For some reason, as soon as I heard DCE and Turbo out, I just thought that he would really rip in last night. But he was only there for the first half, really. And making up the other back row for the Bulldogs is going to be lots of talks with Tavita Pangai Jr. Oh, Isaiah Papali'i. He has been outstanding for Parramatta. And uh, that is a nice signing if they did manage to secure him. We saw uh, Dale Finucan, uh head to the Canberra Raiders. And who are we going to see at lock here? Plenty of options at lock. Uh, Jai Arrow, Tal Malolo. Um, who did we have for the Melbourne Storm lock? I can't – I just might check that for you guys. I don't think it was Tal Malolo. I just want to make sure it wasn't. But I don't think it was. Um, you've also got Victor Radley, the quick play, the balls of Cameron Murray there as another experience. Um, I've got Josh Jackson there. I just realized that that is the Bulldogs player, so do apologize. I will fix that up. Um, but let's have a look at who we had in lock for the, the Storm. Just trying to have a look. Isaiah, yo. Yeah, Isaiah, yo. I got rid of him. So here we go. Let's spin it. If we get Josh Jackson, we'll redo it. We almost had him. We're going to go Nathan Brown here. Nathan Brown, another Parramatta Eels player. 
moving clubs and he's off to the Bulldogs. So that's a really nice rebuild for mine. Um, they're still missing a little bit, but uh, definitely a lot of strike along the park. So first you're going to have Kalen Ponga at fullback for the Canterbury Bulldogs. Uh, your wing is going to be Cody Ramsey, and your other winger partnering on the other side is going to be Kyle Felt. You're going to have the centres of Dane Gagai and Wanga Blake. Uh, in the halves, you're going to have Corey Norman. And then at uh, half back, you're going to have Jerome Hughes partnered with Norman. Up front, you're going to have Payne Haas with Adam Fanua Blake, two of the biggest boppers in the game. So really nice signings there for the Ford Pack. Your number nine is going to be Sam Beryls. You've been looking for a number nine for a while, doggies. Jeremy Marshall King is good, but just don't know if he can get them all the way. Sam Beryls there. In the back row is going to be Josh Kerr and Isaiah Papalihi. And at lock for the Bulldogs is going to be Nathan Brown. So Definitely let me know what team you would like to see next, guys. I really enjoy making these videos. I know that on Instagram, I believe the next team will be the Parramatta Eels, actually. Quite a lot of votes for the Eels on Instagram last night. But by a landslide, it was the Canterbury, Bull uh, Canterbury Banks Down Bulldogs winning this one. So, guys, make sure you do like this video and subscribe to the channel. I definitely put out another one later today. Um, in regards to my tips for today, guys, I'm going with the Roosters to win 13+. plus. I'm going with the Storm, 1-12, to and the Raiders to pull off an upset. As for tries, let's go with Sam Verrills to score a try. Let's go with uh, Jared Croker or Sebastian Chris, which is on the tab um, as a pick. And then we're going to go with the Storm's Jerome Hughes to score a try. So thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Go check out Drum Clothing, and I'll see you guys later for another rebuild.